Ever been on a weight loss journey and wondered if intermittent fasting or the keto diet could be your golden ticket? Embarking on such a journey can be challenging with hurdles that often seem insurmountable. Amid the sea of weight loss methods, two approaches stand out, intermittent fasting and the keto diet. These strategies have gained traction for their promising results. Without delving into specifics just yet, let's acknowledge that each has its unique benefits. Today, we're going to delve into these two strategies and see which one could be the most beneficial for you. Let's kick things off with intermittent fasting. What exactly is it? Well, intermittent fasting is a dietary approach where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting. It's not so much about what you eat, but when you eat. This method can be incredibly flexible, allowing you to choose how long you want your fasting and eating windows to be. Some of the benefits include weight loss, improved mental clarity, and even potential longevity. However, it's not all sunshine and roses. Some people might struggle with hunger pangs, low energy, and even disrupted sleep. It's also worth mentioning that intermittent fasting might not be suitable for everyone, particularly those with certain health conditions or women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. So that's intermittent fasting, a simple flexible method, but it's not for everyone. Now let's switch gears and talk about the keto diet. Next up, we have the keto diet, but what does going keto really mean? Well, let's dive right in. The ketogenic or keto diet is a high fat, low carb eating plan. It's designed to burn fat more efficiently by pushing your body into a state called ketosis, where it uses fat instead of carbs for energy. Now, why would anyone wanna go keto? For starters, it can lead to significant weight loss. Plus, it has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce inflammation. But as with any diet, there are potential drawbacks. The keto diet can be tough to stick to, especially if you have a sweet tooth or love your carbs. It can also lead to keto flu, a temporary state of fatigue and dizziness as your body adjusts to its new fuel source. And there you have it. The keto diet is a high fat, low carb way of eating that can lead to significant weight loss, but it's not without its challenges. Now that we have a clear picture of both intermittent fasting and the keto diet, you might be wondering which one is better. Intermittent fasting, with its flexibility and simplicity, often wins out. It doesn't restrict what you eat, just when you eat. Plus, it aids in weight loss without muscle loss, and it's known to improve metabolic health. Keto, while effective, can be restrictive and hard to maintain. Remember, the best diet is the one that you can stick to, and that makes you feel good. Always consult with a healthcare professional before making any major changes to your diet. That's it for today's deep dive into intermittent fasting and the keto diet. Remember, it's all about what works for you. Do your research, experiment, and listen to your body. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, drop a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Healthy Body Hub channel for more videos. Until next time, stay healthy.